one question a lot of people have, and everyone wants to know your answer to this question. Is George Zimmerman a racist? Uh, I can't say what's in his mind. Um, I can't answer that. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know the individual. Um, I know he profiled my son. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. Why do you think he shot and killed Trent? <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. I really can't answer why he shot Trey, you know. I don't know, man. Is it difficult to be in the room with George Zimmerman? Very. Yeah, very. It's difficult sitting there and, and seeing the killer of, uh, of our child sit there um, with, this, with this fixed stare as if he did nothing. He's said some things. I want to get your reaction. And you were there when this was said in, in court. I wanted to say I am sorry uh, for the loss of your son. I did not know how old he was. I thought he was a little bit younger than I am. And I did not know if he was armed or not. For him to say he was sorry and that he didn't know how young he was and um, he didn't know if he had a weapon, I, I just, honestly, I think that's a cop out. The, the 911 calls that were made by the neighbors, and, uh, and you know, those are difficult for you to listen to, the screams for help. Yes. All right, what is your... Those were the last words that were uttered. That's, that's real troublesome, just to, to listen to those. And, and I know that we're going to have to listen to, to the screams over and over again in the court. You going to stay in the courtroom for all this? Uh, I'll be there um, as much as I can. There's only so much you can take um, of, of, of what I would call bashing. Um, victim bashing. What is the biggest lie that's been told about Trayvon? The biggest lie told about Trayvon uh, that to me it was just that, that he was a thug. George was viciously blindsided by a nose-breaking attack and then pinned to the ground by an experienced fighter who continuously and relentlessly attacked him. Nobody knew or could fathom that his social media, uh, the things he said on his social media, or the pictures of him shooting birds. I'm sure at, the, at that time that he took those pictures, he wasn't thinking, well, I'm gonna get killed, and uh, these are gonna be the pictures on, on, in every magazine. Um, so just, just uh, public opinion of him being a thug, that's one of the biggest hypocritical lies. He's saying, I, I don't, want Trayvon to have died in vain. Trayvon was a people's person. Yeah. He didn't deserve to die. Yeah. And I pledge I will not let my son die in vain. Yeah. What has to happen for him to have not died in vain? We're asking that um, after the evidence is weighed um, that a conviction comes out of this. Justice needs to be served.